gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up channel today it is another vlogmas episode up until now we've just been recovering getting home from our fun holiday vacation that we took at the beginning of December and we finished up the kids school along with getting some of the basic Christmas fun and cheer stuff done around our house with decorating and getting all our trees set up and doing a few family fun activities. I am looking forward to today though because it is the first day that I am able to spend time in the kitchen and bake for fun. This year I've been thinking about which cookies and yummy Christmas goodies that I would like to make and I was thinking about shortbread. I absolutely love shortbread. It's one of my favorite cookies to make this time of year and eat as well. But um, it has been on my mind with Lincoln's dietary restrictions, how I could make it more friendly for him and not have these treats around that he is unable to eat and enjoy. So today I found a shortbread recipe using the butter that we use. So I'm gonna try and make those cookies. I also found this fun recipe that's actually paleo and vegan. It would be food friendly for Lincoln as well that I wanna try. It has like a salted caramel chocolate cup on top of the cookie, so it's like a thumbprint cookie is what I would call it. I'm gonna try that. And lastly, at some point, I would like to try and tackle our Christmas sugar cookies that we make, but I'm gonna substitute the normal ingredients with all of the items that we use for Lincoln's food sensitivities and see how the cookies turn out. Now, I don't know if we're gonna get all of these in one episode today, guys. I'm not gonna sit there and walk through the recipes step by step on all of them. I will kind of share, share the process um, as we go. And if you guys are interested, I will definitely link all of the recipes down below where I found them. And the main one that I'm gonna try and work through today is this apple cider shortbread cookie. So for this dairy-free shortbread cookie recipe today, these are the ingredients that you're going to need. You're gonna need two cups of Mayoko's dairy-free butter, a half cup of apple cider, three and a half cups all-purpose flour. Now, because Lincoln's wheat allergy, I am using the gluten-free one-to-one baking flour from Bob's Red Mill. So that was three and a half cups. Three-fourths cup dark brown sugar, a half a cup cornstarch, now, once again, because of Lincoln's corn allergy, I'm substituting potato starch. One half teaspoon cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg, and one fourth teaspoon ground cloves. The first step that this recipe calls for is to brown the two cups of butter in a pan until it is golden brown. During this process, we want to stir the butter constantly until it is a nutty brown. After that, we're gonna transfer it to a heat resistant dish and let it set in our freezer for about five to 10 minutes. While the butter is solidifying, we're gonna take our flour, cornstarch, and all the spices and sift them into a bowl. Once we have all our dry ingredients sifted together, we're going to take a stand mixer and add into the mixing bowl the apple cider, butter, and brown sugar, and we're gonna mix that until that is creamy and smooth. Once I have the apple cider 
your brown sugar and butter mixed together thoroughly. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding our flour mixture until a dough forms in our mixing bowl. After that, I'm gonna roll it out onto a floured surface mix in the rest make sure it's all incorporated and then roll it out to a half inch thick cut out our cookies put them on a baking sheet let them cool in the refrigerator for about 15 to 30 minutes and then we're ready to bake them I had all the flour added into the apple cider and butter and brown sugar mixture I started to know that the dough was just not forming and it was not the consistency that I was looking for in a cookie dough especially a shortbread dough so at this point I realized because I've had to substitute a few of the ingredients for other items that work for Lincoln's allergies I know that I need to adjust and what I did is I took out the gluten-free flour and started to add a bit more until I got the dough to the consistency that I needed and we are all good. So what I am telling you is all those parents out there who are trying to tweak recipes for food sensitivities and you're substituting items, don't get scared if things don't turn out. Just start working and seeing what else you can add to get to the consistency or the result that you want. So I added about another one and a half cups of the gluten-free flour. And now I have the, or the shortbread dough consistency that I'm looking for. Once my dough is rolled out, I'm going to go ahead and cut the cookies out, transfer them to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes in the freezer or fridge, and then we're going to bake them in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. are baked I'm gonna let them cool and while they're cooling I'm going to make a frosting that we're going to drizzle over them and the ingredients that you're gonna need for the frosting are these one cup powdered sugar two tablespoons dairy-free butter two tablespoons apple cider one fourth teaspoon cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of vanilla we are just going to mix all of the ingredients together and then we'll be ready to ice the cookies all right now that i have all the ingredients mixed together i have just transferred the icing into a small ziploc baggie i'm going to cut the tip off just a little bit and drizzle each of the cookies with the icing and then we'll be done I have drizzled all the cookies with the icing. I'm gonna let it set and then they will be ready to enjoy. I have come to the end of my day and I have only accomplished one of the recipes that I talked about today. So I feel like maybe I might have overcommitted a little bit. The day just got away with me. I got called away for a couple other things so I didn't get all of the recipes done. I hope you guys did enjoy the recipe that I did today. Um, I'm gonna have Lincoln try it as soon as that icing sets and we'll see how these dairy-free shortbread cookies go over in our family. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.